All right. <clears throat> so. Now we're going to get into, into developments. <clears throat> so we have a simple shape here. What we want to be able to do is to make it so that so we can cut it out and fold it back out to make this shape. We want to see what all the surfaces are. Um, so this one's a pretty easy one, right? Yep. So how, how am I going to get started with this? What would be the first step? Do I have any planes right there that are true shape? Yep, the top. The top? Really? The top true shape? No. No. Cause like right? Because it's at an incline. Oh, so it's not true shape. Are, are there any other planes that we have that we're already looking at true shape? Lines aren't shapes. Split up the front. The front view, the whole front view is in a true shape, right? Because here we have an edge view of that front view, right? We have an edge view here, and so that means it's a true shape, correct? Did we just spend a while talking about that? Edge view, next view is true shape. So this is true shape, right? So I'm just going to take that and copy it off to the side. Now I can use that to base my development on. So from here, what could be my next piece, the next face that I'm going to draw? Can you just do a mirror of the other side of that? Could you want to yeah, I can mirror this to get the other side, but how far away do I make it? Oh, you don't know that yet. Yeah, so we probably need to find that in-between piece, either here or here first. Are there any other faces that I can see true shape? I don't. I don't have a left side view. Yeah, but uh, but but I, that that surface there. Yeah. I know that I can probably measure it here and I can measure it there, right? Yeah. But do I have any other surfaces that's true shape? No, that's not true shape. The bottom. Oh. Because even though this is the top view, that line is still the bottom, right? Because the bottom is parallel to the folding line. So that means this is the, the true shape of the bottom. What you said when I said... Oh. You said the top. This is the top. No, I meant the top of that part. As a the top view? <laughs> yes. Well, I was asking for surfaces, not views, right? So the bottom surface is that shape. that that way. So now I can do the back, right? So I know it's that that long. And it's that tall already. So I could copy that over and rotate it. Or I can draw a circle like that, right? Circle from the center to any point on the circle is the same length. So my tracking. Back right. Now I can mirror this if I want to. To that side. Or mirror. Now what? 
thin piece here. Same length as that one was. So I can do the circle again. Or I know it's going to be the same as that. right here, right? So I just turn my UCS so I can draw a perpendicular to it. Copied it. Though. You can't start over that. Does does when I enroll this, is it gonna be a straight line? No. No. So how long is that circle? It's fine, the circumference. It's circumference, right? How hard is that to do in AutoCAD? I click on it, go to properties, and circumference. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to copy that number. I'm just going to draw a line. Paste that number in. And enter. So now that line is the is circumference. Right? <laughs> so. Now I need to decide where I'm going to break this. So where am I going to make my break point on? Maybe right here on this quadrant, where it's the short size. Because this line right here, and that one there, those are two-length lines, right? That this is the two-length line of that point, the quadrant, and this is the two-length line of that quadrant. Correct? So if I copy this one to the two ends, and this one to the middle, I'm on the way, right? I know those points are right. Yeah. Okay. Agree? Okay. Yes? Uh, is this kind of almost like on a couple, a couple times back where you're doing the shapes where you just blend? Like exactly. We're going to figure out, we're going to break this into pieces, bring those pieces down, and then that way we can measure here, or we can divide it into the number segments. The measure our distances here, put them in. Does that make sense? So, I'm going to copy that there and there, and that in the middle. So I know that's right. <coughs> now I'm going to draw a line from here. That should give us enough. 
I could do them smaller pieces if I want to be more exact. But that gives us a good number. into six pieces. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's the command? What do I want to do to that line? Call me take one big thing and make it into a bunch of little things. No. Think math terms. Divide. Divide, right? I'm going to divide it. <laughs> so I'm going to type divide. Pick it. Tell that I want six pieces. So if I go to utilities, point style. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six spots. And it's got points. And so points are snapped to by the node snap, right? We've done that before. So I'm going to go make sure my node oh, snap is turned on. And then now it's really easy because if I just trim this line, Draw the line, and, but why not just copy it? Get the same thing. Here are those. Over to there. I can believe the points. Spline. There to there. And there's that development. So this is called parallel line development. Because all of my development lines are parallel. Pretty easy to understand, right? And so things that are cylindrical or rectangular use parallel line development. We can do that same basic. That's basically what we did here. Just we didn't know that that's what we were doing. Just we're measuring there, bring it over, measuring there, bring it over. And if there's a bottom to that, you just do the same thing on the, the bottom. Well, what? Oh, the bottom. Yeah. So, so I just take this. And then for the top. Now I need to get that incline, right? So now I need a true shape of that. I need a true shape of this. So, what am I going to do? Do an auxiliary. So, remember, I said we're not done. So, CS object. Here we don't have a foiling line. So I'm just going to measure from the, the circle. Right? And I 
then go to the axis endpoint on the ellipse, pick the midpoint, pick the midpoint, midpoint of that one. Now that's the true shape of it. So I can take that, copy it from there, and that's lined up at this point here. It's on the auxiliary. It's lined up at that point. So that <coughs> point is this point, okay? <coughs> So I'll just put it back on it. <clears throat> so now that's that full solid as a development. Questions? Does the, does the top have to be there? Just as long as it's lined up with, like we could put it directly on top of the... Yeah, if you rotate it back straight up, you could put it there. So if I did a reference from there to the quadrant of there, would it go up? Uh, one last step to leave it rotated, or two last steps. Questions? Pretty easy, right? Alright, so now we're going to move over and we're going to do radial line development. So now, we know how long we have a cylinder or something with straight up uh, vertical edges, we have a tapered, so we have to use radial line. So here I have a four-sided pyramid. <clears throat> How am I going to figure out that? Copy your side view over, and then. Do I have any true length views? Yeah. Or yeah. true size? The bottom. The bottom. The bottom, right? That's the only thing I have true size, right? So I can do that. But what I'm, I'm going to do is actually I'm going to save that for later though. I'm going to do the rest of it and I'll come back and put the bottom on it later. Just so that's one, that's because that's real easy to do. So I'll, I'll save that. So do I have anything true length? Yeah. And what I'm really going to do is actually only do half of it and I'll mirror it to get the other half. Does that make sense? Just like I did with the on that cylinder, yeah. I did half of it, then I mirrored it. I'm going to do the same thing here, but I'm just going to do the front half now. So it'd be nice to know where those point, where those, where the vertex of that would be. Ideas? Can you this here? What? Uh, can I say a circle? Draw a circle where? From the. Yeah. That From here? Yeah. Now. So, this is the stuff that we were supposed to do last week. <coughs> is that if I don't have. I don't have anything up here that I can make. 
true length down here, right? I don't have this line or anything where I can bring it to true length. So I could do an auxiliary view and find out the, edge of the length of that line, right? Correct? If I did an auxiliary view going this way or going that way, I can see the true length of that line? Yes. So what I can do also is that I can revolve that and actually take this point and keep that distance and move it up to now it's parallel to the folding plane. Now I can bring that point down and get a true length of it. So that's the revolutions that we didn't do last week. So I'm going to draw a circle from there to there. So these lines here. See that by bringing that up, now that line can come down. And now this is the true length line, right? And then right there. So if I, even though I just in this bottom corner, where this line can come across, would be it cut up. So then now I'm going to do a circle from there to there. So now every point along here is that same distance away. And I'm also going to do a circle from there to this inside one. Then I'll put that up there. So now this corner here is that corner. This corner down here is that corner. Do you agree that that's working? So now from here, can I get anything to, to figure out the size of this thing? I can actually do the whole thing pretty easily from here. What do, what do I know? Do I have any lines that I know are true length besides those angled lines? The base. Right? The base, right? This line, that's true length, right? So you could that line's true length. You can make the slats along the uh -huh. circle. So if I take this distance and I do it like that, wouldn't that be that, that line? 
So how can I do that? You could uh, take the circle and the, you know, if you want to yeah. circles, take a circle and uh, do the, uh, you know, yeah. the diameter base of the square. Or the radius, even? The radius, yeah. yeah, so I can draw a line from the circle from the center there to there, and then put the same circle there. So a circle like that. So from here, I can connect up, and I can connect back, right? When I put this one up, it should have been pretty close. That's that one, so. Oh, because it's the center point, is, so I'm just going to go. I'm going to do the bottom first, and we'll come back and fix the top. <laughs> we know the bottom is working, you know, so. Now you make that circle, put it there. Get a line from there, there, there. That's two. Three. That was a true length line here. <laughs> I 
it should be whatever that circle is yeah. goes to there. And when I connect these points, it should come out the same. For some reason, it's a 16 block. I don't. It, it, it wouldn't be ring of 16 thoughts over the desert. I mean, either aren't you supposed to go from where the two purple lines are? Because that's still a good... What? You truly like blind me off? That's what I'm double checking again. Because that's still your correct width, or Because it's your bottom is the same, so the top is the same, because that's black. That should be the same. It should be that, but uh, for some reason it's not coming out right. it's about sixteenth over. Yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about now. Because that, that blue is where that would extend out. So it's like the same thing as four or five. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to look at that. <laughs> it should work. I don't know why it's not. Um, oh. When did this point up here? It was off. It was off, that's why. that line I, I wasn't careful enough. I drew that line off. It was off by that much we gave which gave the the other That's off now because the bottom's off. So one little mistake throws the whole thing off. But I was able to find that mistake because the numbers, it should have been matched up, right? If it doesn't match up, you know you did something wrong somewhere. <clears throat> and so when you guys do this one, 
Make sure you get the right point. Yeah, that's the best way to learn, right? Learn from my mistakes. And see how easy that was to do? I was sure I'd gotten the extension on it right, but apparently I got just off a little bit. So watch, make sure you're getting the right points. If things don't look like they're working, go back and figure out why instead of wasting 10 minutes trying to make it work like I did. Right? <clears throat> so now this one. What are we going to do here? Yeah, do kind of the same thing here and as I did here. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what I'm So I'm going to break it into into sections. But then instead of the sections going straight up, the sections are going to go back towards the point. Yeah. So you'll you'll get two ones, right? Because one be the back part of the circle. Yeah. What I'm going to this one I'm really going to do the front half then the back. So I'm going to take this. I said that you might want to start color coding things. This is when, instead of having five lines you're dealing with, you have lots of lines. Because for each one of these, we're going to revolve it over to this side to get true length. Because just like we did the last one, we just revolved it a little bit. Here, instead of making them all go down that way, we're going to revolve them all the way around to this side. So I'm going to color code all these. So that'll be my red one. That'll be my yellow one. Where did that go? Oh, that, that was my, that's my edge, so I don't need to do that one. It's green. That's cyan. That's blue. <coughs> That's true length. And this white one here, that's true length also, right? So I'm going to do a circle from there to there. Do a little trimming to, to make a little, I got a nice rainbow. It's going the wrong way, but it's still a rainbow. What was that? So now if I draw a line across the base, those are my red lines.
all these lines here, those are all true length. Right? Because now I've, I've taken this length, revolved it around, and brought it straight down. So the, all of these lines over here are true length lines. Right? Yes. Yes, no, yes. So now we're going to do basically what we did before, or what we tried to do here. And we're going to do it over here. So I'm just going to mirror these two also. So now we have all of our lines. And from here, I can measure the space between each of those, right? Is it the space between that point and that point? Can I actually, is that a true measurement? Is this a true measurement from there to there? 30, 30 degrees, so you find the arc length. I don't, no, I mean the straight measurement. Yeah. Can I measure the distance from that point to that point? Yeah, yeah. yeah right? Because that is parallel down here, parallel to the flame plane. So I can measure that distance. So can you, can you see where I'm going from here? I want to draw my short line. I'll copy that over here somewhere. So I want to start it here and go around to the long side. And I'll do a circle from there to there. And that's going to be the same as all the way around, right? So I'm going to take that circle and put it there. Right? And now that's going to, I know this blue point is that far away. And so now I can take the blue line, or the red line, that's my next one. The white was to here. The red is the next one. I'm going to do a circle here to here. Put it on the end. So there is the next point. So line from there to the end. See how I did that? I can move this to, to or if you get this, RE region brings it back into full circles. section back up. We got my yellow line. Erase that. Here. I'm not gonna keep
I would then. That's that, that development. Okay. So color code your stuff, that way you don't get mixed up. Do one line at a time. Questions? So you guys are going to go through do those four, those four we just did, and then you're going to come down and do these. So what kind of development we're going to do on that one? Parallel. Parallel, okay. That's true shape. Now it's pretty easy to figure out true shape because I have that measurement and I have the two sizes. Kind of development there. Parallel again, right? What's the trick to this one going to be? Yeah, you're going to do this section of the arc as a, a straight across piece, and then you're that kind of the, the curve part of it is going to start here and go around. It's not going to start here. Do we have that? What kind of development? No? Or, you're on the right We're going to do the revolve, so the radial line, which is going to be. A little bit easier than this one, but you'll notice that the point isn't in the middle anymore. Now it's off to the side. We have this one. The point is at the is, is center, and now you have this inclined plane. In order to figure out your ellipse here, you're going to have to do an isometric to get the true shape of that. And then here we have a transition. So we're going to go from a rectangular bottom to a circular top. So we really have Flat piece there. So that's a flat piece. That's a flat piece. That's flat. So these these areas here are flat pieces. These areas are in here are the transitions. So you're going to have a couple bends in this area between those flat pieces. So it's the same thing that we did right here is how you're going to figure out what those distances are. So it's kind of a combination of this and that. thing to do, connect the point to the, uh, connect it to the, the midpoint of that line, because that's the quadrant, and then up here, connect it from the corner to the quadrant, 
the corner, the corner, the quadrant, the corner. So that way you get your flat pieces. And then you can figure out these are the lines you need to bring over and then you need to divide in between. Okay? So any questions? No? Alright. We'll go ahead and get started. Uh, take a break now if you want to.